Yo, what is up guys? Shinobi V here back again with another video for you guys. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we are here. And we'll be ranking every single Sea Fear Own World character in Bleach since they did release the last one. I just want to go ahead and put my tier list out there. Now, also keep in mind this tier list is purely just my opinion. This isn't who's better than who or whatnot. You know, it's nothing like that. Nothing like that at all. So... You know, before anybody comes in the comments talking about this character, it's just my opinion, and it's mostly based on me personally. Playability-wise, if I've even pulled them before, because some of these characters I haven't pulled before. And on top of that, like, you know how strong they are. Like, it's like a combination of those three. But for the most part, it's going to be mostly, you know, my enjoyment of the characters. So, if you guys do enjoy the video, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, because we're going to have more coming your way when it comes to this stuff. For anime, Bleach, you name it, we got it as far as anime is confirmed, or at least we'll try. But, let's get it. So, we'll just start from bottom up. So, I mean, we, do we even gotta talk about this? I think everybody knows where Aiza is going. Aiza Sama, Chair Sama is going in S tier. Absolutely broken character. Fun to play with. Really good in just damn near everything. Like, like you put him in Guild Quest, he's good. Put him in Brave Battles, he's good, bro. Put him in Inheritance Trials, he got you, bro. Put him in Arena, he got you. Like, this man has everything, bro. Everything on lockdown. Like, I would say still strongest heart character, even at that. I would still, he's even still the strongest heart character. Cheersama is going in S tier. Easily. Like, that ain't even a freaking competition. Now, this one, the next one, since we're, since we're going down the list... I would put Yorichi. I put Yorichi in S or A. It's like it's like in between. Because she's really good. But I feel like a lot of her potential, at least for me, this is just me personally. I feel like a lot of her potential is sealed behind how many times you can pull her. Like I've only got her like what? One out of five in T20. Not exactly the strongest. And I got her max transcended also. Not exactly the strongest, and I'm glad I got her recently, actually, because before I didn't have her. Until the recent Sea for Your Own Worlds came by. So I was, I was able to get her. But I wasn't able to get Soifon unfortunately. And I really like Soifon's play style. But I would say she's right. I would say she's an S. Actually I'd say she's an A tier. This is also going to get moved around a lot. Like this isn't going to be where it's at forever. Because once again we got to go down the line. I'm just going top to bottom here. So next up. Sea for Your Own World Yama. I've never pulled him before, but I have gone against him. He's just really there for brave battles. And for that, honestly, I would have to put him in B tier. Now, design-wise, I'd say he's pretty good looking. But not my favorite design. Not my favorite design out of all of them, but it is a pretty solid design. I put him in B tier. Solid B tier. Once again, my opinion on that. On top of that, you also gotta keep in mind, I didn't, I've never pulled this man. This this Yama is really old, really old. Like I wasn't playing the game when this guy came out. But moving on to the next, let's go here with Biakia design. Ah, uh, okay. See, this is where it's mixing. Cause once again, we're basing it off of every like design playability. Like I put him in solid S, but he's old. He, like he's not. Oh, he's not like the best. Like like he got everything covered. But his play style is so good. I put him in soul, and then he like, like, like I gotta love his design. Once again, this tier list is probably gonna get moved around a lot. I put him in S. I put him in S just cause bias. Like I love his design, and he's literally the reason why the Beyond Bankai got started. Like that's where people got the name for it and everything like that. I feel like he's the as a trendsetter, as the originator of the forms that we got down here. Put him there. Toshiro, you already know I'm a big Toshiro fan. Plus, he's the broke, like he's literally the most broken technique character in the game currently for technique. Like outside of Quincy Ichigo, like technique in general just got busted characters. And you're gonna see it down the line because we got a couple more down here. Next up, ah, oh, but see, this th there's gonna be a lot going on in S tier because I just like all of them. I really do, but at the same time, I haven't pulled some of these characters, but. Moving on next, Soifon. I put her in E. In fact, actually, let me move this around. Because if we're doing this in order... Once again, this, this list is going to get moved around. I like Toshiro because I'm biased. And then this is this is getting moved around. I'm telling you right now, it's not going to look like this by the time the video is over. But 
uh, Soifon. Never pulled her, but I really, I, I still haven't pulled her to this day. But I like her playstyle. I've seen what she can do, and it looks nice. It looks nice. That's where I put her. Design-wise, I really like it, too. I like Yorichi's better, but design-wise, love it. I would play it above Byakuya, but nah, I, I'd say it's right about here. In fact, honestly, I put it solid A. I wouldn't put it in S tier. I put it as a solid A. Next up, though, Shunsui. Never pulled him, but I do like his design. Like, he looks really good, in my opinion. But other than that, I've never pulled him, never played him. But if we're just going by design and what I have seen of him, I put him in a solid B tier. I put him in solid B. Shinji, I put him in C. I don't really like this design that much. I really don't. It looks... I don't know. I wouldn't say ugly, but it's just not it for me. And I'd also put... I, I'd put... I, I, I already know I'm about to get hate for this. I don't know. Maybe I won't. But I'm putting him here, too. I'm putting Saj in here, too. I don't... I just don't like it that much. I don't like it that much. Like, I like how it fits his style. But it's not my favorite design out of all of them. Like, you're, you you guys are seeing this. I like really pretty designs, alright? <laughs> but moving on next. Retsu. I would have to put you above Soifon in A. I'd have to put you above Soifon in A. Really busted character. I honestly, scratch that. You're going in S and probably above Bianchi here. Did I put you above Yorichi? Uh, you're like, you're like right in between. Because your playstyle, like you're really busted. Really, really busted. Yeah, I like your design. Well, I, I wouldn't even say like it that much. I wouldn't say. Uh, see, this is, this is about to be a long tier list. I'm just gonna leave her right here. I'm just gonna leave her right here. That's solid right there. I love Biakia's design though. Uh, where am I gonna put you? You know, to, to, to not disrespect the originator, you know what, Biakia, you're going here. I like Ratu's design. And I like her play style. So that's and she's just really busted. Once again, one of the technique just got a buff. In general, when it came to the characters that I got, it got Toshiro, it got Retsu, it got, you know, even got Gen, it got Ichigo, Quincy Remake, like, it's crazy, crazy. Next up, though, Kenpachi. Ah, no, I'm looking at the wrong one. Put you back, damn it. Next up, Korra Put you in A. I like your design a little bit, but not my favorite. That's also why I didn't pull for him. Also, his play style is just not it for me. In fact, honestly, I put him in B. His play style is not it for me. He's a really good link slot unit, but other than that, you know, it, his design, it wasn't it. It wasn't it. I like Gens way better. See, Kisuke, put him in A. Never pulled him before. Like, a lot of these C figure on world characters, like, you're seeing a trend here. Most of the ones that I put in S have been ones either that I played or I've seen a lot of. So I like their play styles a lot more. The only one I would say that kind of falls out of that is Sajin. I've got him like 3 out of 5 and I just don't like him. He's just only there for brave battles and I don't use him in brave battles. Like I, I don't even use him in general. I just have him there honestly. So I don't know. Kisuke, I put him right there. I put him right behind Soifon design wise and everything like that. Kenpachi though, going in S. You already know I love this man. I haven't pulled him before but I have seen his play style. I like him. Brave battles and even outside of brave battles. This man is a monster. Man's a monster. Kaname, I put him above Soifon. If I can get this to move, I put him right here. I like his design, you know, and the fact that he's really good for heart units, link slot unit, really fast. You put all of them in there, like they just buff each other's speed. It's absolutely nuts. But I put him right there, design wise and everything like that. Oh, nice. I wasn't able to pull him. In fact, I actually tried summoning for a five out of five Toshiro and tried getting him. I only got Toshiro once. I got him four out of five. But other than that, I'd put him right there. That's where I put him. Right up there in A. Ichigo, I pulled him recently. In fact, honestly, this Ichigo, I would put right about here. No, I put him in. Mm. I haven't had enough playtime with this Ichigo. I just recently got him up when I was trying to summon for this Toshiro. So, you know, this is the be determined, but I would place him somewhere in between here and here. In fact, I put him above Kenny. Now, as for Jushiro and Gen, Gen, design-wise, I put above Kaname and A. 
And I like his play style, but it's not a lot. It's not my very, very favorite, but I like his play style a lot. And then as for his, you know, as for Jishiro, unfortunately, he's going in the B tier. I would say I put him above him. I put him above Shantui here. Because once again, I haven't seen a lot of him, but what I have seen, it's like, it's all right. It's all right. But other than that, that's pretty much the tier list. Um, I wouldn't put any of them in D. I don't think any of their designs are that bad. But now, as far as what I've got going on here, this is where I'm at. Tell me down in the comments if you guys think of my list is all right. What you guys would move around, but other than that, this is it. This is it, and I think this is a pretty solid list to your life. You know, crazy run that we got for Beyond Bankai. But without further ado, this is gonna be Shinobi EB signing off. I'll see you guys in another one, and I'm out of here. Peace. <laughs>